Hi, my name's Joy. I've come to tell my story of faith. Having been brought up in a Christian family, I don't think that I've ever truly known a time where God wasn't in my life. Somehow, it seems part of my DNA. It's always been there. Having just said that though, although God has always been around, I haven't always had a relationship with him. For the first few years of my life, I went to church. Morning services, Sunday school, evening songs, sang in the church choir. My dad was a church warden, so Sundays were spent at church pretty much all day. I was brought up to say my prayers, but not to read the Bible. Although I do remember my dad reading me Bible stories. As a young teenager, my sister took me to a Christian girls camp for a week. Lots of fun, games, worship, teaching, prayer. I was asked if I was a Christian. Course, I replied. I've been brought up and come from a Christian family. That's as maybe, they said. But have you asked Jesus into your life? What? This was something new to me. Fast forward a few years. I've given up going to church. Better things to do on a Sunday. But I still believed in God. I started my nurse's training. I was 18 years old and on my first ward. A little boy of two years old was dangerously ill. His name was Sean. They tried all sorts of treatment. Nothing worked. In the end, they decided to stop the treatment and let nature take its course. I phoned my mum in tears. It's not fair, I ranted. Pray, she said. Put it in God's hands. I prayed as I'd never done before. Whether or not other people were praying as well, I don't know. But I do know that that little boy was healed and went home. Have a photograph of him in my photo album. God certainly showed me the power of prayer and healing. Despite calling myself a Christian, I still hadn't asked Jesus into my life. Given my life to him. I used to go to our local church and when I was home for a few days, I learnt more and more about Christian fellowship. I once went to a local church near where I shared a flat. I've heard many sermons over the years. Don't remember most of them, but that one stuck with me. It was based around, I am the vine and you are the branches. The vicar said that God had no grandchildren. Everyone who had a relationship with him and ask them into their lives, has a personal relationship with him, not one through somebody else. I now see that then I was a grandchild. My relationship with God was through my family and upbringing, not because as I'd, I had accepted him as my saviour and my lord, my friend and my father. I married Steve had both my boys, had them christened, went to church, but I was still searching. I wasn't settled. We were posted to Germany and again I went to the station church and for the first time joined a house group. I learned more and more and one day realised I really did need to ask Jesus into my life and not stay on the periphery. I did this at a Bible study in the church hall. I left and went into the church on my own and prayed, fully opened my heart to God and asked him to enter it. I felt so clean and refreshed, renewed, filled with the Holy Spirit. When I went home that night, without my saying a word, Steve knew that something special had happened. Steve wasn't a Christian then, 
and I so wanted him to experience what was happening to me. It took many more years of praying before he did. And what rejoicing there was then. Whilst in Germany, I fell pregnant with my third child. I'd had big problems at the birth of number two and almost lost my life. I was advised it could be dangerous to have more children. Well, sometimes things do surprise us. When we told our boys that we were going to have another baby, my oldest, who was four and a half, replied, Well, I told you that I was going to ask God for a brother or sister. His first experience of having a prayer answered. A lot of prayer was sent up during that pregnancy. My church was praying, as was my mum's church and my sister's church. Every time something started to go wrong, prayers were said and the problem went away. I also privately played, prayed for a little girl. I had two beautiful boys who I loved and still love very much, but I desperately wanted a daughter. As my due date was coming closer, prayer chains were set up both in UK and in Germany. A quick phone call would set them into action when I went into labour. Now, this was 36 years ago, before mobile phones, email and phones in every house. To use a phone, we had to go to the local call box. The night I went into labour, the call box wasn't working and we weren't able to set up prayer chains. I prayed. Right, Lord, you wanted me to have this baby, so it's now just you and me. And I completely put my trust in you. I was told that I needed would need a consultant delivery. There wasn't one available, just a midwife. My trust was in God, and I and my baby were in his hands. Within an hour of arriving at the hospital, my beautiful baby girl was born. <coughs> no complications. Everything as it should be. A true miracle. Total trust in God. An answer to many prayers. Since the day I invited Jesus into my life, I have never looked back. I've always felt him with me. Sometimes more strongly than others. There have been times when I've literally felt his arms are holding me. Times when he's just been quietly there. He's given me comfort and strength through some really hard and difficult times. He's never locked me, let me down. He's never gone away. I can honestly say that I know I wouldn't have got through them without him. I could talk for a very long time, give many examples of how God has worked in my life. But in praying about this, what I have related to you, I feel that it was God telling me to say it. How else would I have written this when I couldn't sleep? My brain was in overdrive and the words were running through my brain so clearly that I had to get up at one o'clock in the morning and come down and write them down. I thank God for giving them to me. Moving here to this house, this church, was all an answer to prayer. The journey goes on and on. All the time I'm learning and travelling with God. With him, I know that I can cope and I can deal with anything life throws at me. And in this, I am so very, very blessed. If you want to explore your faith, learn more about God, have somebody pray for you, please, please do not be frightened to ask. You can email vicar at wilfridscowplain.co.uk and somebody will get back to you. Amen. Music